Are you familiar with Kintsugi Japanese art? This is a method of taking broken pottery and piecing it back together with golden glue. The Kintsugi motto is, we are more beautiful for our scars. I think you'll agree the repaired piece is even more amazing than the original. And guys, take six minutes to check out the awesome video about Kintsugi. The link is in the description below. And check it out. Today, Lib is wearing Kintsugi jewelry that I bought for her as a gift. Today, Lib will tell us how God's love glue began to put her heart back together. Hi, I'm Steve. And I'm Lib. And, and together, together, we're Lib, Lib and Steve. Steve. Indeed, I began to gather the pieces of my broken heart, present them to God, and allow His healing love to put them back together. God's healing didn't just erase the brokenness, rather His love filled in the cracks and crevices where once the pieces were all jagged and sharp and cutting, they've now been fused together and I've become wholehearted again. It's beautiful. Because of the dynamics our undiagnosed Aspie marriage presented, my heart needed healing. I had to get healed and get stronger in order to become a force to stop the dynamics that caused the pain in the first place and eventually offer hope and suggestions that would change the wounding dynamic in our marriage. To underscore, unless Cassandra's heart is healed, a neurodiverse relationship is gonna to continue to wound and break her heart. And just because her heart is healed, it in no way means she's obligated to remain in an abusive situation. In my journey, my healing brought a strength like I never had to be able to offer Steve a glimpse of a different relational dynamic. I was able to let Steve taste and see God's goodness. He liked what he was offered and embarked on his own God journey. That is indeed an important distinction. Liv didn't beat, berate, scold, or condemn, but invited me to the feast, and I accepted because I saw something real. She was different in ways I experienced in real time, day in and day out. She didn't have an agenda. Agendas don't heal relationships. So Lib, how did this happen? The first thing that happened is that I had an awakening that God really, really loved me. I always believed that God was good, but I didn't believe he had to be good for me. So my first realization that God really loves me was when I said yes to an invitation to go to a meeting with a friend. It was a Christian meeting where the woman leading it was someone who heard very clearly from God. She came up to me not knowing me from Adam, or should I say Eve? and said, I break off all of the abusive words over your life. So I just like crumpled and wept, like ugly wept, the kind where your makeup just slides off your face because something was happening. Then a few weeks later, I got another invitation similar to that, but this time to meet with a man of God named Dave Diamond. There's a link in the description below for him. We met in a friend's home in a where two or three are gathered type setting. Dave likewise read my mail without knowing me from Adam or Eve. He said, you have a broken heart and more ugly crying, but such a release of heaviness. He told me he was going to have Jesus carve a secret place in my heart where only Jesus and I would meet. And the man, Dave, did this by praying and then he counted to three. And he assured me that I had a secret place. And you know, I chose to partner with that and believe and my intimacy with Jesus began like never before. Lib is saying that the beginning of healing starts with knowing that you are truly dearly loved. I mean really dearly loved by the God who created you. He is your heavenly father. If you've been challenged by trusting your earthly father, you might struggle with realizing that God the Father is good all the time. This is ultimately what I had come to understand. I can't emphasize this enough. Unless and until you have an experiential encounter, your spirit will not perceive this. The Father's heart of love for you is so different than what your earthly experience offered. It goes far beyond intellectual understanding. Your broken heart needs to be healed directly from the Heavenly Father's revelation poured into you. It's so true. When you get that piece in place, it is indeed a revelation. It's a game changer. Out of that revelation of God's immense love for me, I heard him more clearly and I paid attention to where he was leading. He ultimately led me to join a very intimate, small group of women who were on a similar journey. And we then went through a video course on how to hear God's voice. Again, that link is below in the description. And when you know 
how to hear God's voice more clearly, it's easier to hit delete when the enemy's mail, Satan's whispers, his lies, come our way. Satan wants us believing that we're not loved because he knows that if we realize God is good, mm, he'll be defeated big time. Satan will. Lib, I think it would be good to release a prayer over our viewers for anyone who would like to receive this revelation of God's love and also to offer a simple prayer of salvation for anyone who has never received Jesus as their Savior. For sure. So Steve, could you start with a prayer for salvation and I'll follow up with a prayer for a secret place to be carved in hearts? Yes. Lord, we acknowledge you as good God, creator, sovereign, holy, and pure. And Lord, we acknowledge that we have fallen short of your standard. But we thank you that you sent Jesus, your only son, to pay the penalty. You met the standard and you now offer your life as a gift in exchange for mine. And Jesus, I receive you. I receive that gift. And I acknowledge that I am adopted. I am now your son, forgiven. Thank you, Jesus. Psalm 27, five says, for in the day of trouble, he will hide me in his shelter. In the secret place of his tent, he will hide me. He will lift me up on a rock. Psalm 3120 says, In the secret place of your presence, when you hide them from the plots and conspiracies of man, you keep them secretly in a shelter from the strife of tongues. Take these two verses as a promise as I speak over you now. Father, our Creator, who knows us best and loves us perfectly as a good Father, I speak over anyone listening who desires to know you as a good father. I break off any filter of their damaged earthly father experience that inhibits them from knowing your absolute goodness. I break off the enemy's lies and deceptions that can happen in the confusion of neurodiverse relationships. And Father, to those who are willing now, we are asking that you would carve a place in their heart where they can always go and talk safe with you. Now, I want everybody to pause right now and design your secret place. What color is it? What decor is in it? See this beautiful place that is only for you and Jesus. So let's pause a second while you see it. Okay, I will count to three and Jesus is going to carve a secret place in your heart. Your only job is to receive it. One, two, three. In Jesus' name, I declare breakthrough on the ears that receive this and new insight as to who you are to them. Liquid love pouring down on them. In the next few days, go to your new secret place and invite Jesus into your pain. Let him hold you and love you. Tell him your pain and then be still and listen for him to speak. Let him speak love to you. We bless you all, and we're praying for you all. Send us comments or questions. Our breakthrough makes a way for your breakthrough. Hope is on the way. Please like us, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and share this with anyone who could benefit.